Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite, I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Linux-based ransomware. Last week, Dr. Webb, a security company, found a piece of Linux ransomware they named Linux Encoder 1. This ransomware is very much like CryptoLocker or CryptoWall, except it targets Linux servers. And it specifically is looking for Linux servers that are using the Magneto CMS or Content Management System. If you have that particular management system on your web server and you haven't updated it in the past six months, this ransomware can exploit a vulnerability to infect your machine. Now, once it does, it acts like a whole lot of other ransomware. It's going to go into some of your directories, specifically the root directory, uh, your home directory, the MySQL default directory, and often the Apache directory, and it's going to encrypt your files and leave a text file telling you how to decrypt them, essentially by paying one Bitcoin. Now, that said, there's good news for Linux web administrators out there. First of all, this is only going to affect you if you're using that Magneto CMS system and you haven't patched. But more importantly, these ransomware authors are not good at encryption. According to Bitdefender, they actually made a very serious mistake in their implementation of AES encryption that makes it very easy for you to decrypt your files yourself. And the good news is Bitdefender even released a free tool that will help you decrypt the files. So in this case, this particular ransomware is not really that successful. That said, there's something things you should take away from this. First and foremost, ransomware in general has been very, very successful for the criminal actors out there. I expect next year to see bad guys refine their ransomware techniques and start to widen their scope, going after Linux-based systems, Mac systems, and also changing the ways they try to extort us with this sort of ransomware. So even though Linux Encoder 1 seems to be a dud of ransomware, I would be on the lookout for new ransomware in the future. I really recommend you use an advanced threat protection service like APT Blocker to make sure you can catch all the future variants. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.